Hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial on how to make a Half-Life Alex map. So first thing you're going to do is open the hammer editor which you can see here on the Asset browser. Just click that and it should open this. Now go to File, New. This should create a new map and you'll see this. Now uh, if you you can get the four grid view back if you want. But I prefer that like since like this uh, 3D view has full support now. You can great blocks you can bring things up it's, it's just much better to actually use this uh, full grid so just click it press shift Z and you should get it so the first thing you're going to do is create get the block tool it should be shift B I think yeah shift B and you just make, make a block about a thousand and twenty four by a thousand and twenty four you can make it bigger if you want and press enter. This will create the block. Next, you want to want to create another wall, a block. Uh, just drag it up. Create another one. Let's press enter. Get the block tool. Create another side. Press enter. And drag this up. Get the block tool and press enter and get the block tool one last time. Enter, bring it up, and that should be it for that. Seems to be a little bit of a glitch relax crush. Let's create it again. Seems good. Now we can place our players player spawn. Just go to your empty tool by pressing Shift E or just clicking here. Make sure this is on info underscore on players underscore start. Or you can just click here. Click anywhere. And you should get your player right here. You can just put it to the on the grid. Now we can texture this. Now one last thing, it's this is thing good about the Source 2 editor is that you do not need to seal your map. So you can have your map open to the void and it won't cause any errors on like Source 1. So now you're going to want to texture the place, so go down to the bottom left, you'll see this little texture here. Click browse and search for a texture, maybe like a dev texture or grass. It's a bit so if you wait for them to all load in. This one seems good, you just have to drag it on. Just drag this texture on. I will, and you can just have to apply it to one face instead of the whole thing. Just select the face tool and just drag it on. See, it just applies to one face then. You can go to wall texture. And just wait for it to load. There we go. Now you can just drag it on. And drag it on to every face. If you do not want these this grid looking thing, then you just uh, shift click every face to select them all and then change the scale up here in the top left to a bigger scale and just align it. Something like 700. Or 800. There you go, that seems good. And you might want to have uh, a every face uh, have the same scale up and down so you can just set this to the same number. It will look much better. Now we've got our stone walls. You, we can create our first prop now. So go over here to your anti tool. 
create a prop underscore static. Place it anywhere in the map. Double click on it. So you have to actually uh, select objects up here to select it and then double click it. Click the search button over here and search for a bench. Or that. Uh, yeah, bench. And I'll just choose this one. And it should apply here. I'll put it up beside here. Uh, we can switch to the rotate tool by pressing R. And we can just snap it on there. Make sure it's above the ground. And just drag it. And place it in front of the player. Now we'll create a piano. So we can just all you have to do is search up piano, HLVR underscore piano, and just spawn it. Remember R to rotate, and then just rotate it towards the bench, and just drag it in front. Now we'll create a light. Search up light. Sorry, light, it has to be an actual type of light now, so we can just do light spot. Drag it down. And we can put it above this piano. Change this from full bright to 3D all lighting. And it should show up like that. And that should be good. And that is all you need to know for your first map. Have a good day.